is up YouTube, welcome to Play Paint It Live. We are back on the air. Uh, so yeah, we're back at least for the time being. Uh, I know it's been a while since I put together a stream, so uh, bear with me one moment. Um, this will be a very short stream because uh, as soon as my son wakes up, See, that's how long it's been since uh, since I've done a stream, is I totally forgot that I use a headset when I'm doing my stream these days. I don't have that uh, microphone on over there. So anyways, welcome to Play Painted Live. We're just going to do a very short stream today um, because uh, my son is napping and I haven't done any actual painting this week. Uh, just because it's been that kind of a week, been very hectic. So we're going to paint for a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, I will try, if possible, I will try to go ahead and, uh, have a stream, uh, later tonight if I can, uh, if I can tear away long enough to do something. Hey, what's up, Cameron? Thanks for, uh, tuning in. Anyways, here's, uh, what we're going to be working on. I'm going to be painting some Guild Ball. I've got, uh, this model here, uh, which is the Veteran Harmony. Um, model for Guild Ball, and I also have, I have uh, some of the Season 2 mascots too, so I need to do a little bit of work on uh, on Wrecker there as well. Okay, so we're going to start with Harmony, because that's where we're going where we're gonna to spend most of the time. Um, and again, this stream can end at any minute, but that's fine. I may kick it, kick the camera back on a little bit later tonight to try to get uh, some more work done on this stuff. Um, preparing to do a uh, guild ball day uh, this Sunday at my LGS comic quest uh, so I wanted to get her done and maybe wreck her hopefully both uh, in time to enjoy uh, there at the uh, at the guild ball event okay so first thing I'm gonna do just gonna put a little bit of uh, dark brown here on the palette and uh, we're gonna get to some painting okay so we're gonna work on the eyes and the face um, so we'll get that going but if you have any comments any questions uh, let us know what you're working on yourself good to be back on the air um, and yeah I you know it's been a challenge man it's hard to uh, these days it's hard for me to to get away long enough to uh, to initiate uh, a live stream. So I'm just going to use this brown here. Give me a little bit of uh, shadow there and I'm actually going to draw it across the lips here because that's going to help me a little bit later on when we're working on this model. Okay, Just a little bit of dark brown across the eyes. Uh, I'm playing Hunters for Guild Ball now. Butchers are too good. I got some Bushido here to paint in the next day or so. You know, one of the things I'm trying to figure out for me is what teams am I going to be serious about uh, for Season 3 Guild Ball? Because right now there's a there's like four teams calling me, and I'm not sure what I want to do about it. Um, obviously, I'm going to stick with uh, Masons because they're, you know... I consider them to be my main team, quote unquote. So I will always be loyal to some degree to my Masons, but I'm going to want to branch out a little bit this season as well. Sorry, I'm going through my. Just picked up some more paints, so just throwing those in my uh, my paint uh, cabinet there. But yeah, I also picked up a Hunter's team. Probably not going to keep the team though. I'm probably going to paint the whole team out and then uh, I'll paint the whole team and then sell it um, shoot what's going on with this 
But uh, right now, hey, what's up, uh, David? Thanks for hopping on the feed. Yeah, it has been a long time. Been very, very preoccupied with uh, the real life stuff lately. Um, so for sure, Masons, um, then I might do, uh, and, and I have my butchers and my union. For sure, I have to keep the union just because it doesn't make, it doesn't ever make sense to get rid of a union team you already have. But um, I'm also looking at um, alchemists, brewers, and, um, and engineers, and specifically ratchet engineers, ratchet led engineers, or ballista led engineers. Um, sounds really interesting for season three. The changes to Midas, I think a, a lot of people are reviewing that as kind of a nerf. I look at it the other way. I think it, they, they made his playstyle way more exciting, way more interesting now. I, I got bored with him uh, in season, you know, in the first two seasons. I got bored of Midas because it was stupid. Like, you know, the whole true replicate and then spam uh, scything blow on people. I didn't consider it to be very fun. It's just not a, it's effect. Is it effective? Hell yeah. I mean, if you're in a tournament and you're trying to win said tournament, you would be, you know, it would be a little foolish to not do that if you had the opportunity to do that. You need to win your game and somebody knows you're playing Alchemist and, and, uh, you know, they take, uh, they take, uh, you know, season one harmony or they take a gutter or something like that. And you have an opportunity to replicate scything blow with Midas, he'd be a little silly not to do that. Um, but I felt, I felt, I, I, I really felt limiting. Um, and it, it was really uninteresting. I was, I was uninterested in his play style. His play style not now looks super fun because it, it's, that's kind of how I imagined Midas would play in the first place in Guild Ball based on his fluff that he would be more of kind of like a, kind of like a flashy, um, dynamic uh you know more about uh, moving the ball around um being more of a um uh, 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 uh like an active uh footballer rather than you know what he ended up being which is oh you you look for this ability and this ability and then you steal it and then you spam it and that was his play style and it wasn't very fun and then smoke came out and i'm like oh okay smoke is a super fun play style i do like the alchemists um, and I was headed that way, and then I just kind of, um, and then I just kind of had to go back and limit, uh, my teams. And, uh, so they didn't, you know, I ended up selling, uh, my alchemists and, um, kept the masons, kept the union, um, went through two different butchers teams and like three different fishermen teams. Uh, but fishermen were never, you know, they are fun, but they were never, uh, they they just never have really called me uh, as a team, so I will probably still never um, keep a fisherman team other than the demo set that I have. In fact, what I might end up doing, and I've done this already two other times, is take that fisherman starter that I have and just add the rest of the team and then put that on eBay. I'm very likely to do that because... Uh, you know, they're a popular selling team on eBay, and uh, they just, I want that play style, but I don't want to play fish, if that makes any sense. It's really weird. Like, I want to play, I want to play more scoring type teams, but I don't want to play the, uh, um, I don't want to play the, the, you know, the quote unquote, the scoring team. Because fish are fun, but I also feel that there it, it's a little to, for me it's a little too limiting in play style. You know, you can play the shark led prolific scoring team, or you can play more of an attrition style um, uh, corsair led team. But neither one of those really give me the the uh, the kind of flexibility that I get from the teams that I'm seriously considering. They definitely, you know, not not even close to the terms of like what Masons can do. Because I've won, um, you know, with my Masons team, I can win as many games with two goals, two takeouts, uh, as I have, you know, three goals or, you know, one goal and, uh, one goal and, and uh, four takeouts. 
You know what I mean? Like with Masons, you can, you just, you play the same roster and you can, uh, you can play, you can shift your play style um, on the field to win a number of different ways. And I love, that's what I love the most about the Masons. Um, and with the fish, you don't, you can't really do that. With the butchers, I feel like you can actually. And I think a lot of people kind of just write the butchers off as a, as a beat down only team. But I do feel like, you know, I was able to get some, some good scoring uh, out of a butchers team, especially with uh, uh, brisket and, and veteran brisket and shank. I think you can really, you can really put together a good footballing team. Uh, but yeah, right now, alchemists look really exciting. Like the, the Midas led alchemist to me is, is calling really strongly. Um, I'm also really interested in a ballista led, uh, engineers team because I think their new ability to, to pass the ball around and play in traffic is a lot more interesting than the, the, than more of the, the classic season one play style, which was, you know, um, kind of denial if you're playing, uh, um, if you're playing Ballista, and then it's kind of like Fish 2.0 if you're playing uh, um, uh, Pin Vice. So, but anyways, Ballista-led uh, Engineers team, also really interesting. Um, one of the, some of the most fun I had last season was playing a Tapper-led Brewers team. Um, because the Brewers, uh, you know, a lot of people consider the Brewers to be the other side of the coin for the Masons, whereas the Masons are a little speedier, they're a little, um, you know, they're, believe it or not, they're, they're a bit softer, and um, they're a little speedier and maybe a little more bursty than the uh, Brewers. The Brewers play a little more attrition, a little more patience in their game. Um, I still had a lot of fun playing Brewers. I mean, they're, uh, and I, I really liked just season one spigot. You know, veteran spigot looks amazing, don't get me wrong. He looks like arguably one of the best pure strikers in the entire game. But I did really like old school spigot. I just love football legend. That's like my favorite ability in the whole in the whole game is football legend. I just love it. The whole idea that that's what you do, you're a football legend and you make people around you kick better. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Uh, let's see, I've also looked at a ballistic engineer team. They're an interesting style. Yeah, especially going into season three, they look really interesting. So I feel like, I feel like season three, the, the changes that they made in season three um, all look really good and um, and I know I'm kind of saying that as a pundit so you know take this for what it's worth but I really think like this the it's not so much I don't really look at it so much as balance changes uh, as much as style changes like play style changes and you saw you know you saw some play style changes in uh, definitely in Midas uh, arguably one of the most uh, revamped captains in season three is Midas, um, but you know, you got some changes to Blackheart um, that I think that I, I look at the Blackheart changes as a nerf, but I think a good nerf, I felt like I felt like way too strong with Blackheart. I felt like I could do way too much with him, especially that starter set, Blackheart, Gutter, and I cannot get this to, there we go, Blackheart, Gutter, and uh, uh, Decimate. Um, just too much. I felt like I had, I had too much ability there, and that was um, it's a little a little too strong. But uh, uh, but the Midas changes are great. Um, also like the changes to Ballista, um, and uh, there's exciting stuff. Love the changes to Season One Harmony. Love the season the Season One. In fact, I I like Season One Harmony better than that harmony. I, on a power scale, I'd put them on, on the same level, 
but I love that that it's an actual decision. You know, I love that it's an actual decision. Now, if you're if I'm playing Honor, obviously it's not a decision. I have to play Season One uh, Harmony. But you know, if I'm playing Hammer, then I can I can totally see Hammer working great with either one of the uh, either one of the harmonies. So this model, as cool as it is, I will actually be using more as season one harmony than season two harmony because I think um, the season one harmony sculpt is terrible, as a lot of people do. And uh, I prefer honor over hammer. I feel like honor is the better captain. I feel like she's more versatile feel like um, I don't know the hammer is fun I would play hammer more if Masons weren't my main team you know what I mean it like kind of like how I play um, I play fillet more than uh, than ox because butchers aren't my main team and I fillet is really fun her play style is really fun but um, you know and I, and I kind of keep butchers to, and I and I weigh and I really like her model um, but yeah, that's, that's what I would do if I was, so, so Hammer doesn't actually get a lot of, um, uh, he doesn't actually get a lot of time from me because when I want to play a game and I really want to have a fun game of Guild Ball, I will like season one Masons are my go-to. They are the fun team for me. They can... They can do everything I want them to do. I can play pure guild and be super happy. I can play the most old school classic lineup. Um, essentially, it's the lineup that you get in the uh, that's coming out in that two player starter kit, um, which is, you know, Honor, Harmony, Marbles, uh, Flint, Brick, and Mallet. I feel like that. that that starting six is super fun. They're really versatile. You can get a lot of things done with those six players. Um, and yeah, it's like you know, if I had to, if I had to play Guild Ball for an entire um, convention, and I could only pick six models, those would be the six I would play. And I would even do that. Um, before they made the changes to Season 1 Harmony. Season 1 Harmony was much maligned by the internet because she had some obvious problems as a model. I mean, if I were to sit here and say, oh no, she was totally fine, she's totally balanced, I'd be lying to you guys. Yeah, she needed work. She needed to be looked at. She was not. To me, um, the Season 1 Harmony was kind of like a glorified mascot and nothing else. Like she was not as good as Marbles. Marbles was better than Harmony in a lot of ways. Harmony could be situationally better than Marbles, but most of the time, no. Mar Marbles is a much more efficient model. He got he got more done from game to game to game than Harmony did. Now Harmony's had some really exciting games where I've used her to do some crazy stuff. Um, but there were never, she was never like deciding a close game for me, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? The games where, where Harmony has stepped up, um, she has been more of a, more of a, like almost a novelty. Like, yeah, we're doing well in this game and we're gonna, we're gonna do even better because I'm gonna try this really crazy play with Harmony. That's, that pretty much sums it up. Kind of sad. I feel I feel like I just dis, uh, described Tim Tebow. You know what I mean? Whatever. Sports joke for actual sports fans. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going with. I'm kind of doing the the skin here old school. 
on her. I'm gonna, so I'm not using it, my fancy glazed medium or anything like that. I'm not using any flow improver or anything, just using straight uh, Vallejo game color to uh, base coat the model. Now the one thing that's cool about um, this whole, like my whole recent move to, um, like barely getting a, a night a week to paint because of like, you know, my increased uh, family demand, um, it really means that I have to optimize and, and pick my projects carefully and and honestly I've been painting more for me like I've been painting more to enjoy just just to enjoy the action not really to you know I haven't been crunched for projects I I went through a couple commissions lately that's fine but you know once those commissions were over I didn't really um, I didn't really get back into like high production stuff I painted stuff for fun I painted um, kung fu miniatures and I paint I painted some Batman recently I think you got oh yeah I think I turned the camera on for some of that I never actually took pictures of them because uh, my light box is my little photograph area is a little in a state of flux at the moment Hi, Tori. Welcome to the uh, stream. Okay. So now let's... Uh, what am I doing with these eyes? The eyes too... Oh, the eyes look pretty good. Right? They don't look like a uh, heroin addict or anything like that. Right? Those look pretty good. Okay. Let's... Uh, so now... Um, so I'm moving to a, like a fully... I, w I tried Reaper for a while, but I'm going to go, um, I'm going back to my roots here, going back to Vallejo, but but I am going to the model, uh, the game color line, because the game color has, it's a little smoother, it's a little higher sheen, and that's what I, you want skin to have some sheen to it, so we're going with the old standard heavy skin tone, which I've been using for years and years and years, one of my favorite uh, paints of all time, um, but this time we're going to move, I'm going to throw some cadmium skin in there, and then finally our final highlight is going to be pale flesh. Okay, so I'm going to add some uh, cadmium skin to the mix. Which is a nice mid-tone for skin. Again, we're just thinning with water. This does look a little lumpy, so I might I might add some flow improver here. Let's see. Let's just see what we get. See if I can get a good, smooth paint out of this. Looks like I can. Okay, good. Okay. So now we're going to... Now the irony of this is even though masons are my uh, my go-to guild for guild ball, this particular model, you know, Harmony Two is probably not going to see too much time out there, at least as Harmony Two. Now the weird thing to me about the season three was people were saying that the Masons players were upset about the changes in season three. And I don't really know where that's coming from. Is that because they nerfed Flint? Because who cares? I mean, yeah, he can't, he can no longer kick an 11 inch goal. But I mean, did we really need a guy that good at scoring? To be able to do it from 11 inches out, that's crazy. I don't, I don't really know. So, so I don't really know where that whole, you know, Mason's players are going to be pissed about the changes type thing. And I didn't, I really didn't see 
that many Masons players say anything about the changes other than cool, let's play. Um, if anything, I, the, the, most of the Masons response I saw was that people were happy about Harmony 1 being viable. You know, I'm a little bit sad that uh, Marbles got a little bit of a nerf, but he deserved it. You know, Marbles was Marbles was w is way good. Like he season for season one and two, he was clearly better than Wrecker, and he's arguably better than half the Masons players. You know, he's he's won a lot of games for me. So, I don't, like, I don't think that the, the nerf there was out of place. You shouldn't ha shouldn't be winning so many games off your mascot. But sure enough, I mean, he, he the ability to give um, uh, honor, essentially, you know, momentous four damage on two hits. Because the monkey's there and, and it's tooled her up is insane. And people, I don't know, some people got mad about Goad. Goad is very situational. You know, it's, it, and they didn't nerf the Goad. They nerfed the, the tooled up. But again, it's I'm glad that they put tooled up on uh, on Tower because the, his he's just, he's a weird model. And he needs... You could probably use a couple of reasons to put him on your squad. He's just such a... Um, his abilities are kind of all over the place, so... You know, you need to have specific reasons to replace somebody else with Tower. not getting this paint to flow out very well. It's looking very, very muddy. I'm going to have to thin this down a little bit. It's our thinner medium. Where is the thinner medium? I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's just looking real chalky. Can I use uh, can use this matte medium? That'll flow a bit, flow out a little bit. I'd rather use thinner medium though. Let's see. But yeah, you know, overall, I think season three um, is a lot of improvements, and I'm excited to try it. I haven't. You know, take this, take my comment there with a grain of salt because I actually have not sat down and played an actual season three game yet. I just printed out all the uh, stat cards for Sunday's event, um, but uh, I have not played yet. All right, so we're going to put some thinner medium in our mix. There we go. See if I can get this uh, cadmium skin to lie down a little bit better. Kind of looks like. a little bit caked on. So yeah, really looking forward to Season 3 Guild Ball though. As far as Blood Bowl, um, I, I really do like Blood Bowl. It's been one of my favorite games for a very, very long time.
but if I understand something about Blood Bowl, it's that you can't really enjoy Blood Bowl unless you have access to a super fun um, league. And right now, I don't. I, I know I do not have the access nor the ability to play in a league. So I would have fun just kind of breaking the pieces out and teaching somebody how to play, but. I couldn't actually enjoy Blood Bowl the way I believe it really should be enjoyed um, because of the, this idea that I don't have access to a um, to a league. Now we're we're getting into uh, painting the base coat of the skin. So like back in the old day, the old days, I would, from here, I would wash the model, highlight again with the color that I just painted on, and then highlight with the, uh, with the pale skin. It's like the old standard, right? Paint, mark base coat dry brush or highlight, then wash, and then highlight again. That's my old uh, painting standard. Cameron, if you're still watching, I have a question for you. How do you feel about the new Malifaux Kickstarter? So I saw that, and um, I don't know, but I was a bit skeptical when I saw it because it was like, okay, well, this plays with 45 models per side and plays on a 6x4 table and uses a, the deck mechanic similar to Malifaux. So I'm like, okay, so it's just Malifaux 40k scale, right? And so I'm not, I'm not too keen on that, on their new game. Not that I was very, you know, I, I do want to play, uh, I do want to try out M2E at some point, um, and then I'm going to have to, you know, put together a crew, paint up some models. That part should be fun. Like that part, I think for Malifaux, it was always a fun, a fun experience for me. It was more fun when um, when they were in metal models, but I also also really did have a lot of fun pa painting their plastics, and I feel like their plastics um, are some of the best in in the industry. So I, I, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not going to take that away from them. Okay. Yeah, I think the smoothness is going to once again play a role here. See if I can get it to come on, you. Boop. Boop. There we go. Oh, there we go. She looks a little crazed. She looks a little psycho. Look at that. I will come get you. I. Oh man, so close. There we go. I will come get you. She looks so crazy. Um, okay. I took a look. It looks interesting, but it's overpriced a bit. The demo video showed they were as interesting, but it, did, it didn't look too evolved. It was just a demo vid. Yeah. My, 
my whole thing with Malifo, like to me, the whole attraction that I have for Malifo and I still have for Malifo is the fact that it is a skirmish game and that it is, you know, small model count. Um, if I wanted to play, you know, a larger model count game, um, you know, my leanings are uh, Wrath of Kings, Saga, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't know. It could be okay. Could be cool. You never know. I don't think the new game will outsell Malifo, but I don't think that's their intention. I think they just want to. I think they they just want a, um, you know, a larger scale game to be in that. Uh, to be in that market as well. Okay, so now let's go, let's add a little bit of a uh, pale flesh to this mix, which is a really chalky paint. So I'm really going to have to thin this down. So I'm going to use thinner. And I think in this case I will actually mix some glaze medium into this. We almost jumped on the Kickstarter, but I think it's best to wait for it to hit shelves. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I, I, the M2E for some reason it's been like, hey man, you had, so, I, I, I had so many fond memories of playing 1.5, and also, but also like painting the miniatures. That that's like compelling enough for me. Like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna reap, I wanna paint a new. Um, crew. I want to paint either, and I haven't decided yet, I'll most likely end up with uh, uh, playing a new Colette crew, just because that was my favorite from back in the day. Uh, Mei Feng is a possibility also. Um, or, or Ramos. Love Ramos. But yeah. But I, I mean, what am I talking about? I'm back in Batman we built a new crew for Batman. Not really sure why I did that, other than, you know, Mark wants to play Batman, we're playing Batman. Also, still waiting for the new Rock Knight starter to come out, which I. I think will be probably mid to late January. It's funny because I was like actually saving Christmas money to prepare for that because I wanted to buy that. It was supposed to be a mini a mini Kickstarter, but I don't know, I don't know what they're going to do with it. Right now I'm just highlighting some pale flesh over this. It's a pale flesh glaze, so it's not gonna it's not really gonna cover the cadmium skin unless I paint several layers of it on. Alright. Uh, that's why me and Chris are going to M2E. We're over Privateer Press and we thought we were where most of our happiest memories was. The answer was Malifo. Oh, wow. Yeah, because crazy stuff used to happen, man. 1.5 Malifo was 
pretty wild. I don't really, I, I don't know enough about it now to know, you know, is it, can you still do the same? I, I'm pretty sure you can't do the same, the exact same kind of wacky stuff you could do in 1.5, but, you know, you could probably, um, I think you could probably still have fun with it, especially now that, like, you know, in my opinion, the, all of the, 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 the bad memories, the bad feelings are gone. <laughs> oh, see if I'm just trying to cut these eyes a little bit closer so that it doesn't look like she's got raccoon eyes or heroin addiction or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I can just, I can just pack. Okay. All right. Sounds like the wife is waking everybody up. So that means uh, we're going to be wrapping this up shortly. But I will, um, I will try to kick the camera on a little bit later so we can paint some more. Because I was just starting to have a little fun with this model. But yeah, I'm kind of cut, I'm going to cut the eyes in a little bit. Her stare is a little too. a little too psychotic at the moment so I'm gonna see if I can just kind of sane her up a little bit make her look a little more sane there we go all right nap time is over that's right Okay, let's see if I can, now the next trick, there we go. She looks pretty good, right? Look at that. Yeah, that's the, the Scarlet Star. That's, uh, that's our lady there for us. So, um, yeah, she's looking pretty good. So Sunday, yeah. Um, if you guys haven't heard, Sunday is our Guild Ball Day at Comic Quest. Come on down around, we'll start around noon. We'll go to about five or six. Um, I have <clears throat> this entire stack of season three cards that I have to laminate. Uh, so, you know, if you come, just bring your models. I'll have sets of cards you can try out your team with the season three rules. And yeah, uh, other than that, we're going to, I know it was really short, but we're going to call it here. I'm going to uh, kick on the camera later. We'll paint her some more. She's already looking fun to me, don't you think? She looks, I don't know, I like that. I'm liking that game color uh, skin look. I don't think the texture is good. So she's look, she looks pretty good on camera, but uh, we'll see how she does. Like pho photographically, maybe not. She may not stand up to that level of scrutiny, but she does look actually rather cool here. Okay. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Again, stay tuned. I'll try to kick on the camera. Maybe give it three or four hours. So maybe later on in the evening, I'll do that. Okay? Uh, so that's it. Talk to you guys later. And I uh, hope you have a good one. And we can talk, uh, I don't know, more Guild Ball. Or whatever, whatever else you feel like talking. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Bye.